If you live in Africa and you're breathing a sigh of relief that the NSA does not have the ability to spy on you, well, your days are numbered. Yes, Facebook has announced that they are purchasing a company called Titan Aerospace so that they can have the ability to build and deploy drones, 11,000 drones over Africa to bring them, yes, the internet. All right, <clears throat> the Solera 60, that's what you're seeing on your screen right now. This baby is actually really big. It can fly about 12 miles above the surface of the earth. It's called an atmospheric drone. And it performs a lot of the same functions that a satellite in space would, but at a fraction of the cost. Because as you can see, those solar panels all over the aircraft transfer the energy of the sun into the power to fly the drone. It can stay in the air for five years, racking up millions and millions of miles without ever having to land, without ever having to refuel. And the, the plane only weighs about 350 pounds and can carry a payload of about 70 pounds. So Facebook, wanting to unite the world, is going to launch, or at least has plans to launch, some 11,000 of these drones, higher than an airplane flies, but lower than outer space, so that the good people of Africa can be connected to Facebook. However, I have this word of warning to those of you in Africa. Don't post a picture on Facebook of any of your wives or you ladies, you moms, don't post a picture online breastfeeding. Did you hear the news? Facebook actually suspended the account of a mom who was doing a home birth and then actually had to go to the hospital because of complications. And there's a picture of her holding her baby, breastfeeding. None of her more delicate parts are exposed. And people complained that it was pornographic. And so they suspended her account. Now, I want you to think through with me, Beyonce, Miley Cyrus. I want you to think through with me some of the, the garbage that is on Facebook and think through what putting 11,000 drones in the air will do to the men, the women, and the children of Africa when they have instant access to unspeakable depravity online. So Facebook is going to be on the cutting edge of, of opening up a, 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 a hydrant of sewage available to the people of Africa, but they cancel a woman's Facebook account because she shows a picture, this picture, you've seen the picture of her little baby. Does anyone besides me think this is crazy? Here, all right, here's the test. Here's the shocker, ready? Here's what I want you to do. For those of you that have, no, I won't even do the joke. I won't even do the joke. Lane said to me off the air, you should tell the people, <laughs> go to Victoria's Secret and say to them, where's the maternity section? All right, Where, where's the maternity stuff? All right, and my wife kids about this all the time. In fact, she's actually spoken to people at certain lingerie departments and said, look, you, you people produce this stuff, you make this stuff so that women and their husbands and people who aren't even married are involved in activities that can result in a new human being, okay, a new baby. Well, why don't you create something that's comfortable for a woman so that she can enjoy comfortable um, garments, undergarments, that are geared towards her having a baby. Is this so crazy? And what, of course, is the position of Victoria's Secret and of Facebook? Look, Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, they show us what the female human body is all about. It's about objectification. But when you turn that objectified body into something as prehistoric as a source of nutritional milk and loving concern and bonding between a mother and her child, 
that's where we draw the line enough of you your account is canceled <laughs>